I tell you what, the Grand Canyon is tearing me apart. Almost every plant here has a thorn. And this stuff right here, this rock, is Muav limestone. And it's kind of like the combination between razor blades and a cheese grater. And I just bumped up against it. Look what it did to my leg. I've heard people call it predatorial rock. And now I know why. But just up here is one of the coolest paleo sites in all of the Grand Canyon. So I hope it's worth it. Oh, there's the entrance of the cave. And it is hot out here. So I hope it's really cool in there. Even though the former occupants of this cave are long since extinct, they have left us some pretty remarkable clues about their life here. So I've made it up here to Rampart Cave. And you might wonder what all of this back here is. Well, that's been left behind by a grizzly-sized ground sloth called the Shasta ground sloth. And what this is, is grizzly-sized Shasta ground sloth dung. Now, it doesn't live here now, but it did live in this cave anywhere between 40,000 and 10,000 years ago. And now I'm gonna go back deep in the cave and see where these ground sloths were hanging out. It's cool to think that these sloths were living back here at the same time that mammoths were roaming, saber-toothed tigers, even the short-faced bear. I can't help but to imagine this cave occupied with several grizzly-sized ground sloths. It's hot in the canyon. They crawl up in here to be cool. It's such a perfect cave that they occupied this cave for nearly 30,000 years. And there is definitely a pile of a record right here. Look at this. This is 30,000 years of sloth dung piled up. Wow, this has been a great way to get off the river, cool off, and really experience a piece of the history of the Grand Canyon. Even though I'd like to linger in the cool comfort of the cave, the river is calling me back.